Hello, Michael O'Grady here, and uh, we're on to part eight of our uh, series. We've just left menu and we're going into articles, but I thought I would just change the background colour. Um, it's a little bit green for the rest of the page, so we'll just change that and go over to articles. So our articles, if we uh, just hover over an article, we've got uh, a couple of types here. One has um, our header, h1, h2, h3. Uh, we have some metadata, uh, the picture, looking landscape there. We have uh, portrait as well. We've got what links look like, superscript, subscript, etc. This is what our articles look like. Uh, this is the footer. Um, and here's a little bit of um, content to show in more detail what each individual item looks like. So this is where we're, we're going now. This is, if you like, the finished article and this is um, uh, the possible constructs of an article. Now, <sighs> blogs and websites do require a lot of pictures. We're a, a visual, in fact we're becoming um, a video uh, nation now, a race, um, and so pictures are very important and there are quite a lot of pictures in here. Um, they're free for you to use. Um, you might want to go to some other uh, copyright free sources. Obviously you'd be wanting to use your own if uh, they are suitable, but they're a little corporate for uh, what we want. Um, but you'll also see that um, some are landscape, um, some are portrait, um, some are larger than others. Okay, so there's different sizes and uh, the flow of the text around the picture is controlled by uh, things like padding and uh, the sort of things we're going to see now. Okay, so um, we're going to um, the styling. What is the shape of our content going to be? Is it going to be just a rectangular box or is it going to be a box with padding around it? Okay. Um, margins, what sort of uh, left margin are we going to have? Five pixels here. Uh, what sort of padding? Let's go for seven pixels. Okay. In terms of uh, the fill of our article, let's have a, a look at what that is going to produce. Okay, so the back background of our articles are controlled by the fill. <coughs> um, the minutes, there's a one pixel border. If we go to something quite strong, there's our border. It's um, a light coloured, so we can uh, affect the colour. Uh, transparency of that border, obviously we can have some um, content shine through from the background. Uh, what else do we have? Radius. If we just go up a little bit, there's the radius here. Um, let's go for four pixels. Okay. And do we want a shadow? We can have a glow all the way around, or we can have a shadow. Let's have a, a shadow. And then come down here. I'm not seeing much of a shadow. I'll take it that there is one. Okay. So in terms of um, text, we've got um, a left uh, margin. Let's put that at five. We have a right margin. Let's put that at 10. Uh, we have line spacing. Let's have a look at our options there. <coughs> Okay, this will come up a few times in terms of um, our font selection and paragraph, uh, our alignment, left, right, uh, centrified, centered, justified, etc. Um, indents, 
a spacing before and after paragraphs um, and uh, character spacing. Okay, so there's quite a lot of uh, standard things there. Um, also, colour, font, family style, font options. Going back to the font tab in that um, panel. Okay, so that's fairly straightforward. When we come to our headings, uh, we have H1 to H6, and for each one, you can select the colour, the font family, the size, the style, the alignment, and go to the, the, the normal table here. This is So this will be for the H1. You need to be careful this with this H1, H2, H3, etc. So those are, are there. With hyperlinks we basically got um, uh, the link after it's been visited during hover. Okay, so these are all selectable in terms of style. Uh, obviously you'd want to keep the same font and the same um, text size, maybe have some underlining coming in there. Um, quotes, if we look at a quote down here, um, how much padding is in our quote. Okay, um, the fill, what sort of fill do we want? Let's go for a yellow. It wouldn't logically go with a yellow. <laughs> So we have a yellow background, um, we can alter the icons, um, we can insert them from a file, I guess that would be a PNG, maybe a GIF. Let's see what file type it's looking for. A JPEG, okay. Uh, what else do we have? Um, so um, colours, font family style, the normal stuff. Uh, bullet points here, um, what sort of images do we want? And again, the, uh, the colours, fonts, the standard stuff. Uh, for images, let's just have a little look at images. So this is our image now. Um, do we want a, a border? And if so, what width? What sort of line style do we want? what is the colour of that border and do we want any margin around the picture. Uh, with tables, let's have a look at tables. Uh, what is the uh, border width, the, the lines around the outside, the thickness, the style and the colour of those. Okay, so back to headers. <laughs> the header layout. Do we want um, no block, we've got no block at the minute, or do we want a coloured block underneath our headline or underneath our metadata or both? Let's just put a coloured block underneath our headline. It will be a colour, there we go. Um, let's see what else, what colour do we want that to be? Let's just go with a um, stronger colour. That's, that's too strong, but uh, we get the idea. Um, do we want a border around that? Let's have a look at putting two pixel border. Let's put one around, it's quite light. Uh, let's make it uh, dark blue so we can see it. Okay, stylistically I'm not making any sense here. Uh, it's not <laughs> looking good at all. It's, it's going from bad to worse. Um, do I want any uh, icons in front of my header? Um, so I can have a little speech bubble, circles, uh, maybe something like this. Okay, so there's numerous graphics and we can set icons from files as well. So there's quite a few um, links, hovered, visited, etc and the metadata. The metadata are these items here, um, what, what font family colours, links, uh, etc. Okay. Now for these graphics here, there's a special uh, set of um, uh, three drop-downs here. Uh, we can pick a, an icon 
color uh, and choose a style for a calendar or none as the case may be for our author let's uh, have this one okay and instead of the uh, edit here let's have um, this one Now when we go down to the footer, here is the footer, uh, again we've got our ability to uh, have the footer layout changed, uh, metadata or no metadata, what is the going to be the colour of the fill, change that to a blue, um, border, text, visitor, tags etc etc, and then these pictures here, are we going to have any pictures? Well, let's have that one for the category. For the tags, uh, I think we've got a nicer one here. Um, oh, is the, we'll do it the other way. Do it that way. And the comments. Um, let's have a little speech bubble with a plus. Okay. So for each of these, um, you have... Uh, this where you've got uh, the shape, the margin, the padding um, for the rectangle, the metadata, uh, shadow, um, couldn't really see shadows, let's have a look at shadows, uh, change the opacity, let's change the distance uh, and the angle. Um, oh, so we're getting, getting some shadow there. More opaque. Yes, that is definitely a shadow. Okay. So that concludes articles. Uh, thank you for watching. And the next one is going to be sidebar. Sidebar are these items here our menus, search, categories, bookmarks, and the like. I'll see you in. Uh, Article session 9.